Hello everyone and um, welcome to Geotech. So in this video, we're going to be looking at um, the CIE, um, IGCSC Information and Communication Technology. Um, the course code is 0417. Okay, we're looking at paper 3, spreadsheet. Yeah, it's a specimen paper for examinations from 2023. 20, upwards okay so yes let's um let's get to data analysis which is a spreadsheet right so this has been done the web page has been done so probably you can just check it out um on my youtube channel trust me it's gonna be a game changer for you um okay not talking about it. okay so let's go tax three spreadsheets you're going to prepare an invoice using a spreadsheet for tower digital storage this company makes and sells storage devices. All prices are in euros, euros, which must be displayed to two decimal places. And notice that the currency, make sure that you use efficient um, formula. Open and examine the files, two files in a spreadsheet. So let's open and examine the files. Okay. I've opened it already because of the... Um, the website altering so I'm just going to open it right here okay I'm just going to expand it I'm just going to close this real quick mm -hmm. okay I think this is what we're going to be working with okay let's look at the other one um, okay I think this is going to be the VLOOKUP okay like I said we have the VLOOKUP we have the heat lookup. Now the difference between the VLOOKUP and the history cup is the headings is at the column. Why for the horizontal lookup, um, the headings are in the row side. Okay, yeah, um, literally that's what they are. Okay, let me show you a good example like this. Um, so we could have this now for. Um, let me just copy this for the VLOOKUP. It by look like this. So probably I'm just going to click on the space special. Um, and I'm going to just just waiting for it to load. It's taking a bit of time. Uh, yep, I'm just going to transpose this just to show what I'm talking about. And then this is how uh, the HLOOKUP is going to uh, look like. Okay, so I can just I can just do this. Sorry, um, hold my Shift Control and I'll select all. Okay, I'm holding my Shift and Control to select all. And so when I do something like this, everything um, should look good. Okay. Um, yeah. So you get the idea, right? You get the idea. So this is what I'm talking about. Okay. So probably this is going to be for the H lookup. Okay. But we're not talking about H lookup today. We're talking about the V lookup. Okay. But I just felt like showing you just in case in your exam, you come across it. You'll not be like, oh my God, H lookup. What do I do? What do I do? Okay. All right. All right. So I'm um, just messing with you. So obviously you know what to do right now. Mm -hmm. So let's get to work. Okay. Okay. My recording is going. Okay. Now, um, so I've examined the files and literally I think, um, so obviously storage. Okay. So let's go ahead. Save. The spec invoice.csv as a spreadsheet with a file name invoice underscore followed by your center number, okay? Underscore candidate number. Okay, I got you covered. So let's do that. Spec invoice. So I'm going to click on file, click on save as. Literally going to look for it. Um, okay, um, so. I'm just gonna look for it because I don't think I can. Just wanna find it real quick. Right here. Okay. All right. Um, so right here, I'm just gonna save this, paste the invoice center number A N en 017 a for jar and for and obviously you're going to put in your own center number underscore okay i think we use 2023 not one two three four okay 
obviously i did one two three four in the website or two my fine like i said it's been a while all right so i'm just gonna save that as a spreadsheet which is excel workbook click on file so yes i have it match cell a1 to f1 a1 to f1 i'm just going to match it done format this spreadsheet to look like this okay i have center lives get to center it um obviously this is going to be 25 what did i do 25 i don't know guys i'm just saying 25 okay you want to have the i don't know i just had to pick a number okay so i have this what else i think the one is more like this i'm just gonna make it 90 okay then i'm gonna make it this let's see uh, I think this is bold. Let me see. And this is definitely Calibri. Okay, Calibri at its core. You can see the G right there. That's one of the most features you know. The G right there is showing Calibri. So I'm just going to bold it. Okay, I think um, that's fine. So, and also your eye, also as well. And then your eye. Uh, so it's actually Calibri. So let's go ahead. Place your name, center number, candidate number, left aligned in the footer. So I'm just going to click on insert. Right here on text, click header on footer. Okay, um, left aligned. So my name, Ijaro, and the comma en 017, comma 2023. So obviously in... Um, while you're practicing this video, obviously you just put your own center number and of course your candidate number. Okay, for my students, I'm just gonna send a list to them so they will just know um, their center number for so their mock exam. So that makes it no, no, real cool, right? And just easy. So they just they don't have to pick like random numbers. Okay, right, so let's go ahead. All right, so we have this. So okay, place functions in cell C9. Okay, and E9, C9 to E9. So let's do that. Let's do that real quick. I'm, okay, to change this view, I'm going to click up here. And there are two ways to do it. You can actually click here to change it to normal view. Or you can come to view the view tab and then click on normal and you get it done. Okay, from C9 to E9. Hmm. C9 to E9. So let's do that. Okay, from C9 to E9. Okay, C9 to E9. So let's do that. Okay, so I said place functions to look up the model, comma, capacity, and what again, and the unit price of each item using the following product, using the using the product code for the lookup value and the external file. Okay, this is the external for we're talking about. The spec SSD to CSV for the array. So let's go ahead. Now they said before we do that, they said make sure that if no data is entered in the product code column, then nothing is displayed in cell C2. F9. So this simply means that if like right here, there should be a formula, but if nothing, if there's no product code, there's no number of item, um, nothing should be displayed. If there's no product code, we shouldn't have anything. Right? So that's what it means. So let's do this. So equals to now what we're gonna do is if okay right here the product code okay remember the product code is for the lookup value so the product code is equals to empty then the value of the true is going to be empty because that's it right if nothing is displayed it should display nothing but if something is displayed then comes here comes the first value then it has to display something if something is displayed it has to display something if nothing is displayed guys then nothing should be displayed like literally that is math one on one okay okay let's get to work i know i know all right so right now what we're going to do is the vlookup now you can hit on your tab 
to get this done like i said there's always something new to learn in my videos guys so the local value is still going to be this now the table remember it's a table we're going to select everything now the way the h lookup works uh the v lookup works is it works from the left hand side to the right hand hand side right from the left to the right it doesn't go from the right to the left the only thing that makes it possible for you to navigate from probably from the right to the left or to select in between is what we call the x lookup okay so if you're seeing the s lookup you're having um um your lookup value you're having um some arrays to select and then um the array for what you're looking for and then the other area you're looking for okay so it's actually really cool okay yeah the x lookup i said it like x for xylophone okay x for x-men okay 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 let's go ahead so table array let's get the table array done let's get the table array done table array table array table array okay so like i said it's a table so we're selecting everything on the table so i'm just going to do this right here i'm going to hold my shift and control and hit down to select everything at once okay and um comma now watch this guys remember we're looking for the first thing we're looking for is what is we're looking for the model okay so let's get the model the model is right here right so the model right here is column one column two column three column four which is column four okay comma and it needs to be an exact match okay Now I will warn you, it's because I'm always if you're watching my video, you will you'll be like, Mr. Jero, add the next, you know, the next closing bracket. Let them be a close bracket, add the next closing bracket because for some reason I just forget the last closing bracket. Okay, but this is the beauty about Excel and it helps you to um complete those minor typos. Okay, so obviously what was missing was just um on the closing bracket because we had one here this has been closed but we have not closed it so i accept it i take it in now notice that there's a formula but nothing is displayed and that's what that is what we want now this is what i'm going to do watch me now they said for c9 um d9 and e9 so i'm just going to shift this to copy this okay and uh, now watch what happens this is four this is four this is four now i'm just going to change this a bit okay i'm going to change this a bit okay but for the purpose of this video um i'm just still going to do it again but just in case for exam you've done one formula instead of just typing it in you could just replicate it remember it's a table array all tables um all the array has to be selected now for capacity you have it as what for capacity you have it as hmm column three right so right here on capacity you just come here and change it to column three and there you have it okay it's showing what exactly okay fine that will be fixed um the next one is what unit price unit price unit price and this is column two okay this is for column two so uh, let's see okay so now you see that that has been done okay so obviously you have to select the table array and you have to look for what you have to find what you're looking for so we have that done here it's literally the same thing but for the sake of emphasis i'm still going to do it again so you guys can watch how this was done now to find we'll find the model i'm going to find the capacity now to set to find the capacity this is what you're going to do equals to an if statement hit your tab and now we're going to do a logical test with a product code. Now, if this is equals to empty, then it should display an empty, which is a true statement. S, we have to get a VLOOKUP, hit on your tab to complete it. And then this is going to be the lookup value, comma, the table array, we're going to select everything on them. You can decide to just select, now, you, now there are two ways two methods i'm going to show you i've shown you the first method i'm going to show you the second method you can try to just select each and each of them it's still the same thing you can set to select the whole table array you can set to select it's just a section of the table array whichever one you do but me i prefer selecting the whole table array and then i can select the one i want like i said you're still going to get the same mark okay 
So obviously, what I'm looking for is this. I'm looking for capacity. So I'm just going to select from here to the capacity. Okay, I'm going to make it the third match, uh, the third column, right? And then I have an exact match. I have a closing bracket, and I'm going to close it again, hit on enter. Like I said, it still works. So whichever one you're doing, if you want to just do it on only on model, I think model is what? Model was everything, right? If you want to do it only on model, yes. So the next one is... Unit price, so equals to if the product code equals to comma. Okay, so if it's empty, you should display empty. And then we have right here, this is going to be, sorry, a VLOOKUP. Now hit on your tab to complete it. This is going to be the lookup value, comma. Then the table array. You're looking for what i just want to be sure looking for unit price so it could just be only this two hold your shift and control and arrow down to select everything and this is going to be the second column and you want an exact match so whichever one guys whichever method you're using um that is so comfortable for, for you please let me know in the comment section in this video right now okay so whichever one you're using it's still fine. You can set this like the whole table array and pick from the columns in each of um in each of um uh, the columns and you do that. You can just select from the whole table. The whole essence of selecting from the whole table array is this, so that you can actually replicate across the columns. And remember, it has what we call an absolute cell referencing. That is, they are locked in. Okay, the cells are locked in, so nothing is changing. Only the column index, which is relative. That is what you're just going to have to change across and it's going to look for it. But if you want to do it individually, um, you select from the left to where you have the model, you select from the left to where you have the capacity, you select from the left to where you have the unit price, whichever one is still fine, okay? You're still going to get it, you know, like literally the full mark, okay? All right. Okay, so let's go ahead. And that's 12 mark, guys, like literally 12 mark. Now, place in cell F9. So let's go F9. F9 is right here. Okay, um, a formula to multiply the numbers of item. Okay, so we have equals to multiply numbers of item. Okay, with multiply. Okay, by the unit price. By the unit price. So we have this. Okay, so so we have um, please insert F that a formula numbers of items. Want to be sure numbers of items b9 and by the unit price now they said make sure that if no data is entered in the numbers of item colon make sure that if no data is entered in numbers of item colon then not is display in cell f9 so still the same logic guys so what i'm going to do right here is this i'm going to do an if hit on my tab and i'm going to say if this is equals to empty then display what we call an empty value s display multiplied and have b9 times um e9 which is the numbers of item with the unit price how cool is that okay and yeah you see cool right like if you if you've done this to the stage bravo bravo like i'm really proud of you like you're the superman okay yes the future clock ends Mm -hmm. Yeah, replicate the formulas entered in step 10 and 11 to row 10 to 19. So let's do that real quick. Um, okay, let me just replicate that across to 19. Okay, replicate it to 19. Okay. It to 19. Okay, locate it to 19. Okay, all right, so 
Let's place in cell F21. Okay, F21 is right here. Yes, you can see this. We call this a name box that displays the name of the cell, the cell you're currently on. Okay, yeah. A function to calculate the total of the price column. Remember, it's a function. You can see it's just one math. So you're using equals to sum, and it's going to look for it right here. You can hit on your enter to select it, on your tab rather to select it, or you know you can just click on sum and you just click on it, right? And what I'm going to do is quite simple. I'm just going to select a range to what to 19. I want to be sure this is 19. Yes, F9, F9 to F19. Okay. Okay, so apply. Okay. So we have done. Just want to be sure. Yes, we've done that. Now we are on question 14. Apply appropriate formatting to all cells in row 9 to 20 to 21. Okay. Okay, to row 9 to row 21. Remember? And uh, remember it's just one mark. So what are the uh, formatting we're going to apply? You remember they said, let's go back. It said um up prices are in euro, which one will display to two decimal places. So up prices are what are in euro. So all the prices, unit price, main price are in what euros. So I'm going to select this and I'll click on home and I'm going to select euros. Okay, I'm going to click here as well. Select it currency to decimal places. Okay. Um I should have just done this like literally done this right i know i know what you're thinking you should have done that you know like yes i've done it okay apologies i've done it okay so i'll do it again here and also here as well okay nope i'm just going to miss some parts and select this because obviously 20 is not included so I hold my control to do that. So right here, I'm going to select this. And that is accounting. That's why it's showing that. Change it to currency. And that will be wiped off. Okay, so now we have this. All right. Let's go down. Print your spreadsheet showing the formula. Okay, so let's pretty show you the formula. Okay, I'm just going to click on formulas, show formula. Okay. Just going to select everything and I'll click here to get this done. Okay, all right. Click on file, click on print. It is in landscape orientation. Change the port, the orientation to landscape. The rows and column headings are displayed. Now there are two ways to go about this. You can click on the columns scaling option and click on sheets and click on rows and column headings and then uh, click OK. OK, so what else? The grid lines are displayed. So now they added a grid line. Now to add a grid line, like I said, there are various ways you can use this right here, custom scaling options, or you can click on your piece setup, whichever one works. Now go to sheets and then you add, you check your grid lines, okay? So actually, this is the first time I'm actually seeing that they're adding a grid line to it. They're telling you to add it. Normally, I do add it, but now they're making you add it, okay? Cool, right? The content of all cells are fully dis um, visible. Now, this is where we, you know, do a bit of... You know, we just try to. Okay, so I have um. Okay, let me see how possible this is, trying to fit it in one column. Mm, nah, nah, nah. It's too small, and I don't want to take that risk, and neither should you. So I'm gonna make it um. Let me see. 
um, one page tall. Let me see how possible that is. Okay, so two page wide. So why this is okay. So um, obviously, what it simply means is you need a two page, right, and one page tall, right. So obviously that works for me. So two page, yeah, it's good for me, right. I think this can be seen and the other one here as well. And um, so yeah, I think this is. I think this is this is better because uh, everything can be seen. So let's go ahead, and this is going to be. A printout okay so um, trying to look for the paper okay so this is going to be probably print out two print out two okay so what else Enter the address as shown and format it like this. So I'm going to formulas and I'm just going to, nope. I'm going to select everything and I'm just going to move it a bit like this. Move it a bit like this. Move it a bit like this. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, maybe not too much. Okay. Now what else? The said. For much to look like this, so to can we copy this? No, we can't. So what we're gonna do is this, and we're just going to split my screen. So to Tawara Technology Solutions. 32 Kai Kai Avenue. Apologies if I'm not pronouncing it well. Don't laugh. Now somebody's laughing. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, three. Okay, so now it has to be displayed like this to format it like this. I'm gonna click on alignment, make it right, okay. The next thing is enter these codes. How many mark is this? Oh, oh, two marks, right? Enter these product codes and numbers of items into the invoice. So the product code is going to be SSD 118 and um, SSD 34. And this is going to be one item, 10 item. All right, so we have this here. Now we can do this as well. Come back here, maximize it. So we have this. Um, okay. Okay, save your spreadsheets. Do that real quick. Print the entire spreadsheet showing the values. Entire spreadsheet, you say. Mm -hmm. Click on file, click on print. Print out fit on a single page. Content of all cells are fully displayed. Grid lines are not displayed. Rows and column headings are not displayed. So let's do that right here. Now I'm going to go to the page setup this time around. Sheets, I want to check this or check this. Okay. Now they are not to be displayed. Okay, so they know. All they want to see is this. I wish it was displayed, but well, yeah, well, right? Okay, so obviously they, they 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 just want it to be they just want to see the calculation. So um the grid lines are not to be displayed. Um so obviously so that's fine, okay. So this is going to be Print out three. All right, so let's do this. This is going to be, let's print it. Now, let's make it portrait and see what happens. Uh, now, I will prefer landscape as well. I think landscape seems cool. 
so I'm going to print out this so this is going to be my printout three okay so there you have it guys we've come to the end of this analysis and the end of the specimen paper because we've printed the evidence document in um, the website or train you can check it out this is my youtube channel and yes we had to go through it to know that you know usually um no evidence if whichever is kind of the, um the highest mark so obviously we looked at it and there was nowhere to put our evidence so obviously we had that um settled okay so please uh yes lastly before i go and before we go i just want to talk about my amazing youtube channel agile tech okay please subscribe to my youtube channel it is loaded like literally loaded i can assure you agile tech is is superb right uh please stay tuned log into my youtube channel and trust me you're going to be glad um you did now you can see um the um website altering is right here on the youtube channel so you can actually watch it if you've not watched it and trust me it is enlightened because there's some things you're gonna learn there that yeah you will be surprised and amazed and yes and added knowledge to it don't forget it is a general text so come to this youtube channel it's right there youtube.com um slash at agile tech and literally you can have it if you're having troubles looking for it you could just search um agile tech and literally that's going to like pop out right here right so you're gonna see right here so agile tech is right here okay so thank you very much and please don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time bye